Look at all that light. So we had our well drilled yesterday. If you're new here, I'm Megan and this is Bo and our daughter Beckett. <laughs> For 10 months now, we've been living on our land in northeastern Washington while building a shop house. We've had our struggles and we didn't pass inspection. And we've had our successes along the way. But each day we are closer to moving in. Don't forget to like and subscribe to join us on this wild ride. So our, um, if you might remember, I went shopping for granite and quartz for the countertops and that ended up falling through. They're way too long out for lead time for getting everything cut. So we are remnant shopping yet again today, which is a little bit difficult, but we have to go with, we have to find something today. We don't have a choice. So um, we picked out some remnants. I think they'll be great. They're not originally what I had planned, but I still think it'll look great in the end. And actually we have more color now than I had originally picked out before I picked out a bunch of whites. And now I added a little bit more color in here. In here. Um, the kitchen's gonna sparkle, which I'm excited for. The laundry room is still pretty close to what it was. Um, but I think we've got them all picked out. So we'll see. Oh, the showroom, let them know the one-man band. Look at how many people these got. Oh yeah. When he said it's seven days from or seven days out from template. Yeah. So we just finished up at the second um, countertop place of the day and they had a crazy good selection. Way just more a, what yeah, I was looking for. Yeah, it's just a bigger company yeah. too. I mean there's and they kind of did Not it all. Not that that's always better but right. when you're in a time crunch I'd rather rely on a company that has 80 employees versus two because if one gets sick at two right. you're not working yeah so um i think we're gonna go with them they're a little bit more expensive but we're gonna get it almost two weeks faster than we were with the last company as well so and that and we're literally down to the wire um go go right go back to francis and then go to division and then go right or sorry go left whatever right is left left is right um, <laughs> oh yeah, we're getting down to the wire. It's uh, mid-April right now. We're really trying to push to be done with the house by like June 1st. <laughs> um, yeah, I still think we're gonna so we're we're, good to make that. Yeah, we just... we're, our goal this week is to get all the walls painted. Bo already started last night, got a majority of the downstairs done. Well, the downstairs is done with except, or you have to do another coat, right? Yeah, I mean, it's. Uh, I think I hung enough on it to, I don't know, look. It's pretty much done. But anyways, the goal is to get that done and then get the cabinets installed by the weekend. Or through, Which, through the weekend. To to get them installed to the point where they can template, piece of cake. Which is what we're doing. <coughs> I mean, there's very few cabinets. There's, I mean, there's yeah. one, two, three, four. There's, there's like 15 cabinets. I think the laundry there. room is the biggest as far as the cabinet cabinetry goes. No, the, believe it or not, the master is. Because there's four cabinets there. The laundry room's two cabinets. And the huge one and all the uppers. You don't need all that for a template. Oh, okay, I get what you're saying. I, I meant total install the laundry. Yeah, more. we literally just need to get the countertop. Yeah, got the countertop part in so they can measure it. Gotcha, okay, that makes sense. So, that's the goal for this week. It's only Tuesday. We've got plenty of time. And then we need to paint trim, paint doors, and <laughs> those, that'll be the next steps. Yeah, I mean, even for two weeks and all that, 
which I think we probably will be. It's still not horrible. All right, headed home now. This room, we got the ceiling done last night. We were waiting for delivery, so we stopped early and it never showed, so that was fun. But, uh, I'm gonna shove the sponge in there. <laughs> um, <Twirl>. gonna <laughs> get this room finished and then do any of the touch-up paint that needs to be done. And then I'm gonna take all this plastic down. Cause nice. it's been so like, <laughs> dark and closed in with all those plastic up on all the walls. No, I'm super excited about that. What you need? More paint? I think all those ones are... That's not my plate. It's your plate. You're made around here. Hey, you I need to put a hole in the wall! <laughs> I just said earlier today, I'm retiring the mud knife. I don't know if use it again. My job to be the hose holder. <laughs> Make sure he doesn't run anything over. Luckily, this is the cleanest out. Too close? <laughs> you just charged it last night. <laughs> Ready to race. Whoa. Hello, <laughs> this is my head soft. I could feel it dripping on me last night when he was spraying the ceiling. Almost done with the first layer. Out here. Shake it, baby, shake it. Um, oh, as you can see, it's got that, the doorway, and then behind, up the stairs and under the stairs. And then that's it for the first layer. Probably gonna be about it, except for the touch-up. Yeah, there's some touch-up, some touch-up in some areas. Our lighting is really poor, so it's kind of hard to see in some of the areas unless you take a like a small light and shine it but there's a few spots in the master that need touched up master bathroom and bedroom and what else? The laundry. laundry room um, but overall he did a really good job tonight on it's not much and <laughs> how many gallons of paint have you used to work? Oh. not primer, paint It was 21 buckets. Yeah, 21 yeah. five gallon buckets. Yeah, five gallons. So a lot. Intentionally not getting too close to him. 
with the cameras because I don't want spray all over the cameras, so sorry about that. But you'll just have to make do with my eyeballs. So, Bo just finished spraying. The whole house, touched up any areas that we could tell. It'll be a lot easier to tell if we have a few more once we get all the windows and stuff uncovered. It's so dark in here right now. We're using a light and trying to find any, but um, we'll just fix those by hand instead of using the sprayer once everything's uncovered. Which we're gonna wait until tomorrow. There's so much stuff on that plastic. When you move it, stuff falls off and we don't want it getting in the paint and then having to redo it. And we're gonna have to fix behind the stairs because uh, pieces of the primer that had dried the plastic are all over the wall now, so. But I got this little sample here for this wall. We eventually maybe will um, put stone on it or something, make it a little bit more of an accent. For now, I want to paint it dark, very dark. Um, and so I got this little sample of carbon. Carbon? Carbon is what it's called. So I'm going to paint it so he, the spray right here is on. Um, this wall obviously will be covered by whatever we do paint this. So I'm gonna put it right on top of that and then I'm gonna put it out here so we can see it from this view and then up against the gray. And hopefully I like it because covering it up is gonna be a pain in the butt. <laughs> I was debating on if I should do it down by the floor. <laughs> do it down there. <laughs> it's wet, I think I like it. It'll be bold. The best part about paint is, in the end, it's always fixable. <laughs> That's all you're doing? Make it bigger. You want it to be bigger? Yeah. <laughs> Here I was doing a little spot so we <laughs> didn't have to fix a big piece. <laughs> the corner? No, brushing it. Oh yeah, especially these sponge brushes. These aren't good for anything but samples and like oil, like a stain or whatever. That's gonna be crazy um, spraying that. <laughs> we'll have to tape off the side walls. It'll tie in the windows. Yeah, the windows are black. Well, the stairs are black. I think we'll roll that. The TV will be right in the middle, which will break up a lot of it and the fireplace so it won't be a giant solid black fireplace is black yeah but it'll still have you know it'll still break up the and we can put a mantle under the tv that'll help break it all up we'll let it dry and see what we think but i think i'm gonna do it let's pull the corners maybe this side since we started over here might be more dry What color are these gonna be? I think we just do them wood. Stain them clear like the thing. If it's a pretty wood, yeah. It won't or darker. I then we can stain them a little bit darker. Go look out. Um, he's talking about we have three beams. So there's one against the wall, one in the middle, and then that one. We decided we're just gonna cover them with wood and um, stain them. I mean, the bed is only. I think it's a foot inside of here. Mm -hmm. And those are our light switches? For these. Right, so we're going to do sconce lighting here, light switch, and then we have we each have our own outlet for our phones and whatnot. And then that outlet is for our bed. I'm excited to see all, get all the lights put in. Yeah. And light. Let's spark it over here next week. Someone's going to come next week after work and work on getting as many. Is he going to do... Outlets? Yeah, outlets and switches. Outlets and oh yeah, because the can lights is just one plug together and then they pop in the ceiling. We'll Pretty we'll simple. Have to uh, get the panel done, which I think we'll be able to. Uh, what is all that? Is that light? It's just the light. I, I'm pretty confident we'll finish all the cabinets by the end of the weekend. Installing them all? Yeah. I'm so excited. And then if we can also take like Monday and Tuesday to get the panel in, we'll have mm -hmm. to do it during the... Well, I'm going to have to kill
kill power of the house. Oh. And put the new panel in. I was thinking about that today when I was in there going to the bathroom. I was like, oh, he's going to have to shut the whole house off to mm -hmm. fix this. But you just have to kill it on out there, right? Yeah. Your office and still there. Yeah. What else do you have to be painting? The master uh, yeah, closet. closet. It, needs, they... it needs some tape. We might roll that. To spray it? Because the ceiling, there was no way for me to stop the white and the, or the gray in the ceiling, so I sprayed the whole ceiling gray. In the master? Yeah. Okay. And then the one wall is all gray, but then where it meets, the three walls will be white to make brighten okay. it up. Mm -hmm. There's no light in the master closet or in the pantry, so but I don't think the pantry will be too bad though once this garage door is in and the light. But the master closet will be really dark. These are our beautiful stair treads. Rose already put um, a layer of stain on them. You're fine. It's not that loud. Um, he's already put, yeah, a layer of stain. Rotate him to the back. We rotate him back over. Sort of gonna make it nice and smooth and then give him their last coat of stain. Excited. I've been working this morning to get all the plastic down and not just the plastic that I put up for painting but the plastic that's actually covering the windows. Um, the weather's kind of crappy today so I don't know if we'll get to the exterior plastic but uh, I'm hoping to because we've never actually got to look out the windows and I'm so pumped. So I'm gonna get all this down. I love the color especially seeing it in the daylight. It's so nice. Sorry I'm like Screaming, it's probably echoey. Um, our making sure that semi driver can get out. Don't mind him. He just dropped off our cabinet that um our replacement cabinet because we had one that was damaged. This may not look like much to you, but this is a sight I have waited to see for a long time. There is nothing covering the glass, and I can see through it. So pretty, I love it. Oh, all this junk. I got all the windows uncovered in the master. Well, the inside. I can reach this one, so I did it from the outside. All the um, windows are uncovered in the big room. Again, inside. I can do the lowers in the out here. Look at that. Look at that beautiful window. Oh, it's the small things that count, right? Um, I'll do all these ones. Um, today too so I can see all the way through because that's a sight to be seen I haven't seen through my windows at all it's giving me goosebumps I'm so excited uh, the only one I have left on cover is up in Beckett's room and then the interior of all the windows is done I'll be really excited when I can do the exteriors it rained all morning so I'm not going to try to go on the roof today um, it's supposed to be really nice the rest of the week and the weekend though so I'll probably get those done because I'm so tired of this I uh, can't really tell it tell but the flapping plastic up there. So and then eventually, you know, I'll get them all clean, but Good evening. We're wrapping up the final last bit of drywall while oh, somebody's listening to a book. Hi, Brandon. Oh, I'm Mr. Elbow. And the werewolf love the vampire. I'm listening to Harry Potter. No. So we're getting this drywall up so the tile guy can come tomorrow and start tiling. We decided to use a contractor for the tile just to help ease the pain here, we're 
closing in on our deadline and we just we want to get done so Megan Lee stripped all of the covering off of the windows so we got our first look we've never looked through these windows well because they've always had the protective coating on them that comes from shipping and it's it's just crazy to actually see through your windows 